Okay, I don't know how this helmet cam is going to take this with the lighting, but this is a 2007 Mercedes-Benz C230 Sport Sedan. There's the front of it. It's black. Uh, exterior with black and black bird's eye maple wood detailing trim. That's 17 inch wheels, low profile low profile tires. Maybe even uh, labeled the disc brace larger. The sport has the larger wheels. Uh, the braking that I don't know if this lighting shows up with this can it's tinted window, but this bird's eye maple here. As you can see it's really nice. Power memory seats. This is an MB text covering on these seats. It's like a leather mixed. This is the Mercedes Benz key, by the way. Just this part, not the keychain, but that's it. It'll do the alarm, everything, and uh, we'll put it right in here. And then when you close the door, it has memory seating location and uh like if i flip this to two that's uh my settings and then i'll put the key in and turn it on and close the door and i think another time yeah as you can see it's setting itself to what i where i set it the mirrors steering wheel in and out it, uh, there's lever here Makes the steering wheel go in and out, or up or down. Automatic windshield wipers, and I've tried them out when I, we got the car. It was storming like hell in Nashville, and it was drizzly, then it was pouring, and then no rain, and back and forth, and they work just like you'd want them to. It, automatic headlights, it's got fog lamps. There's the door, the trunk, and the door, the windows, and lock out. Uh, this is uh, the mirrors move, motorized, parking, auto lights, and all that. Um, windshield wipers, everything is just solid as a rock on this vehicle, it really is. I particularly like the way the vents are, uh, don't protrude out from. I really like the vents on these European cars. Really nice. Of course, it's got a uh, you know, vanity mirror on both sides. Uh, the sunroof set up kind of nice. It's got this sliding piece, so just and there's vents so that you can just raise it, still keep it covered. Then there's this auto open, and it opens up both of them. And then. Uh, you could close it, and a really nice feature they have is if you just want to tilt it up, it's got the accordion fan so nothing could come in from the sides, which is really nice. Then uh, rear lighting, and this is all, as you can see, it dims down when you turn it off. Uh, These are side lights, which is the interior light. Same thing, it's got a tinted mirror. This is a garage door up in here. As you can see, the garage going down. I, that was real easy to program. Um, some grab handles, more of the trim, really nice trim. It's a really nice design. Somebody decided to put this in here. I've always seen like the brownish woody type, but this is really nice. It's got this gear shift on it to where you can uh, you uh, start it up here. Uh, you put it in park and you can sit there and tap the gear shift like this and switch gears or you can just do it it's an automatic transmission you can sit there and set the maximum gear you're doing it by hitting this CS button also automatic climate control dual side unbelievable in a compact but it has it and the vents also blow Defrost, middle and lower. I've never seen defrost mixed in with all others. This telephone feature, you can get it set up to do all that. Uh, 
and it talks, it dims your radio, you could talk through dial, voice activated dial. I'm in the back, if you've got company, see the headrest there, uh, you can hit this button and they'll go down so you can view, like if they get out and you drop somebody off and now you got the, they forget to put them down and the headrest are up, you can hit this button and they all fall down. And another thing, you know, it's just, I don't know what use it is, but I guess the sun's coming in on people in the back. This button here raises a rear sunscreen here, I'll show you. It's like a scissor jack raising. So it does that, and that's kind of nice. And it folds down. Uh, there's gas in all these windows. They call it blue heat or something. It's supposed to be, you know, economic or efficient. Um, I don't know if there's any point to turn the stereo on, but it's absolutely unbelievable what it'll do. I could just try it here. You could control everything from here. Here's tracks. These are file folders. This is volume. You can just play any, you know, see, you push this button and switch his tracks while you're driving. And uh, the sound is believable, but I don't think there's any point in it. And uh, so that's the stereo. In the glove box, it's kind of neat. There's a six CD uh, changer here. It's pretty nice. Pop this thing out and put your CDs in there. So that's accepted it. And it'll cycle through a little thing there, some papers. And uh, this has power seat except for sliding it forward and back. That's manual, but right over here's the buttons for it. Plenty of room in the back, it really is. Um, I'll show you that. There's uh, an ashtray compartment. This unlocks, so you can slide that out. Cup holder's kind of nifty. It comes up, and then you turn it out, and here's a second cup holder. So you have two, and then that just. Just down. There's a compartment to store stuff in. I guess this you could put a Bluetooth in here and use your phone and bypass that stuff. Uh, uh, there's uh, well, I'll get back there in a second. So this is the front parking brake. It's got these uh, the sport pedals, which you know they're kind of the metal with some rubber ribs on it. Uh, really nice interior. Everything is just as solid as can be, and uh, it's got the like the the uh, alabaster top to it, and the uh, darker bottom. It's really strange. Oh, there's the lumbar supports in there. You can see it go in and out, maybe in this camera. But so that's that, and then we'll get out and take a look around here. I think uh, Google only lets me do a 10-minute video, so I'll try to... Oh, yeah, here's the key, by the way. This is unlock, door, uh, lock it, and it'll set off the alarm with the panic button. And if you hold this down, when you're up close and pointed at the keyhole of the door, it'll lower the windows until you let go of the button and raise the sunroof to let the heat out while you're walking up to it. And they've hidden the uh, front... And when I pulled that, this lever right here popped out. I hope it shows up, but this comes out when you pull that tr trunk or hood release lever. And you pull it out as far as you can, and you raise the hood. Let me see. I have to probably hold the camera away. So there's the hood raising. It's on the uh, two hydraulic things, and then... There's the V6 that it has, a 2.5 liter, and all of the German engineering in that. Pretty strange that they put the dip, oil dipstick in the rear. Oh, but everything's really nice shape on this. It's 29,000 miles. Uh, grill comes up with the hood. 
two uh, air horns ahead.